Namaste. I'm Cindy Mastery with Yoga Etc. Studio, and I found the best way to teach your kids yoga is to make it fun. Kids are fun, they're creative, they like to laugh, they like to play. You got a lot of competition out there with the computer games, video stuff, Wi-Fi. Wi so what you need to do is make it creative and make it fun. We need to tell a story. So I found the best way is to bring a story into it. So Bree and I are going to do a little story about the day the family brought home the new puppy and introduced it to the cat. So we're going to ask Bree to be the family cat. So she's coming into cat pose. She's just going to get on her hands and knees. Yeah? And she's going to be a cat. Yeah. Good. So she's a happy cat. She's got her tail up to the sky and her heart forward. And maybe she's just going to give lift her tail up a little higher. Yeah. Uh-huh. And she's going to hear some noise behind her. She hears something going on. So she looks over one shoulder behind her to see what's going on back there. And she looks over to the other side to see what's going on back there. And all of a sudden, she sees this puppy. So she, what does she do? She becomes the angry cat and hisses. Can we hiss? <sighs> and pull your back up to the sky to become an angry cat. Good. Now Bree's going to pretend she's the new puppy. So we're going to ask her to curl her toes under and press back and come into dog pose. So straighten your legs, lift off your knees. So she's on her hands and knees and she's pressing back into what we call downward facing dog. Good. And she's a happy puppy, so she's going to wag her tail. Can you wag your tail? Good. Good. And now this puppy's going to come down. Can the puppy come down on his elbows? So the puppy's going to come down. Just place your elbows down. Yeah. And he's going to check out the cat. Maybe he wants to sniff and see what the cat's doing, get a little closer to the cat. Good. Good. So we're going to ask Bree to bring her knees down again and become the cat again. So she's going to come back into her, bring your hands back in under your shoulders. Yeah, and then push up to that angry cat. She's going to be that angry cat. So arch it up and see if we can hiss. <laughs> Good. And then she's going to come into her regular cat, tilt the tailbone up. And maybe this dog's not so bad after all. So this was just a brief little story. But if you can tell a story, maybe a story of the proud warrior, maybe he's going off into... Uh, to some new planet or maybe he's going in a journey through the woods where you can use animal poses or you could use an undersea theme where you do all the fish poses. So there's a many different um, yoga poses that you can get off video, other videos on the web, but it's how you put them together. And if you can put them together in a fun way and be creative, you could even ask your child to make up some of the story and be creative with you. It's a great way to bring yoga to your kid's life and a little together time for you and your child. Namaste.